Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, I'll be talking about a storm that could actually shatter records as we get closer to Halloween with the potential for very cold weather across much of the United States. We'll also be watching for the severe weather threat over the next couple of days, heavy rainfall that could lead to flooding, and the threat for a winter storm. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first Let's begin with what's happening across the United States today, and we'll first begin with the Great Plains, and this is where there is a ton of activity today. We've had a lot of rainfall, and a lot of this is coming from a very strong southerly wind out of the Gulf of Mexico, and it's pulling tons of moisture into the Great Plains. Additionally, we had Hurricane Otis, which was a Category 5 hurricane, make landfall in Mexico last night, and that is also going to surge even more moisture into this very active weather pattern across the Great Plains in the Midwest. So a lot of cloud cover will continue for the next several days. Lots of rainfall. We could even see upwards of two to four inches of rain in parts of Texas and Oklahoma over the next couple of days with isolated amounts as high as eight inches of rain. And I'll show you that in just a moment. And another thing that I want you to pay attention to with this weather pattern is that we actually have a high pressure system in the Southeast United States. You'll notice on the infrared imagery, this is all cloud cover and rainfall that is circulating around the high pressure system. That's your typical clockwise space been when we have showers and storms they're going to kind of circulate around that high pressure system especially with one that's so strong in the southeast united states so that is why we're not seeing any rain down there and it is also much warmer in those areas now off to the north and west in the pacific northwest specifically we're actually watching a winter storm unfold across parts of montana and north dakota this will continue to move into areas like northwest minnesota as well we will see the potential for upwards of one to two feet yes feet of snow over the next 48 hours so it's going to be snowing there a lot over the next little while. And this will also be our cold air mass that is going to be coming out of Canada that will bring an Arctic blast. But overall, it's going to be a very active next five to seven days across the United States with the threat for snow, severe weather, heavy rainfall, Arctic blast, you name it. It's basically all in the forecast this week. We'll be breaking that all down for you here in this forecast. Now let's talk a little bit about the temperatures and this big blast of cold air that we'll be seeing because we actually could see the threat for some record-breaking low temperatures in some areas. Area. So right now, overall from the Climate Prediction Center for next week, so from Tuesday, that's Halloween day, all the way until Saturday, November 4th, Climate Prediction Center is forecasting below normal temperatures across this entire blue shaded area. Now, the likelihood is much higher if you're in these darker shaded regions, which the darkest shade is all the way from New England back into South Texas. So it's a very large area. And that's what we'll be dealing with over the next several days is a much colder weather pattern, especially as we go into next week. It's really going to start on Saturday. Sunday into Monday for the majority of the United States. Now, not everybody's going to see this cold air, like Southern Florida, for example, above normal temperatures are still in the picture and also the West Coast. So overall, not going to impact everybody, but the majority of the United States will feel the impacts. All right, let's talk about the temperature anomalies. Gives you an idea of the cold air mass and the warm air mass that we have in the United States and how this is all going to go down over the next several days. So for today, we have a warm air mass that is sitting across the Great Plains. By the way, it's also humid, so it feels much warmer than what it actually is outside but over in the southern plains that's where there's a ton of humidity dew points near 70 temperatures are near 75 80 degrees so it just feels warmer overall outside now in the northeast that's where it's really centered notice the darker red colors that you're seeing there but over the next few days what we need to watch for is this cold air mass that is sitting back up in montana now where you see this purple and pink colors those are well below normal temperatures that's near record-breaking temperatures there and that's again as of today now as we go throughout the next several days we're going to have to watch this very closely because it's going to leak a little bit down to the south and east into parts of the northern plains as we go into tomorrow night and as well as into Friday. So the cool down will begin to be felt there. And once we go into the weekend, that is when this cold air mass will start to leak a little bit into the Midwest and the Central Plains. But going into Sunday, that's when the big change will happen. So this is Saturday afternoon. Notice where the cold air mass is. This is really the center of it, even though it's, again, a little bit outside of that. There's a huge, again, this is a huge cold air mass. But the main center of it is back over in the Northern and Central Plains. Once we go into Sunday, notice that cold front really starts to go down to the South and East. So this is where your cold front will be lined up going into Sunday evening. So 
will be start to will be starting to feel the impacts in parts of the Texas Panhandle and much of the Great Plains. By the time I get to Monday morning, so the day before Halloween, notice much colder air ushering into the Midwest and as well as the Southern Plains, including North Texas. By the time we get to Tuesday into Wednesday, there is another shot of cold air that could arrive, and this could even be bigger than the other cold blasts that we're going to see on Monday into Tuesday. So watch out for this going into Halloween evening and as well as into Wednesday and Thursday because this will really dip far down to the south. Now there is a bit more uncertainty with this aspect of the cold air mask from the first one. So the one that we're going to see Sunday into Monday, that's much more likely. This one is a bit of a question mark right now. So stay tuned. Things might change a little bit, but if this does end up happening, we'll likely see freezing temperatures dip as far south as Alabama, Mississippi, and Texas. So it could go very far to the south here as we go into really Wednesday into Thursday. By the time we get to Friday into Saturday, a lot of this will likely clear out as we go into the first weekend of November. So which is good news if you're looking forward to a bit more of a normal fall type of weather because we're jumping right into winter basically for next week. In terms of the wind chills, this is one way to look at it. Obviously, it's going to feel very cold in the northern plains throughout the next several days. Below normal, below zero temperatures, excuse me, are very possible Saturday and Sunday morning in parts of the northern plains. By the time we get to Tuesday morning, this will be one of the coldest days of the week for the most part across the United States in terms of wind chills. Teens will be possible in the Midwest and possibly even in the southern plains. Wednesday morning could also really dip down there, potentially into the 20s and teens in parts of the southern plains again, and also single digits across much of the northern plains. So again, it's going to feel pretty cold out there. You might be wondering what will the actual temperatures be. Well, one day we're going to look at is next Thursday. It's about a week from now. But over, overall, this can be a big day to watch because we could see freezing temperatures across a very large chunk of the United States, and it could dip very far to the south. So this will be very concerning, obviously, for those that have crops down in parts of the southern plains. But again, we're still about a week out. Things are bound to change. No need to panic right now. Just keep a close eye on it if you have any plants especially. Now let's check out the future radar across the United States and talk a bit more about that winter storm threat. So across parts of the northern plains and Montana, we'll be watching for heavy snowfall over the next 24 to 48 hours. Meanwhile, a lot of rainfall from the Midwest to the southern plains. Once we go into Friday, things change a little bit. That winter storm moves into Canada. We'll clip Minnesota just a little bit. Overall, a little bit drier for Friday, but we are still watching for some showers and maybe some storms. By Saturday, more moisture is entering into the southern and central plains. That could actually lead to some snowfall spanning from parts of the Midwest back into the Central Plains. Overall, the amount of snow coming out of this would be very minimal. If we see any, we might see a little bit of a sleet snow mixture back over in parts of Kansas, so some light icing might be in play going into early Sunday morning. By the time we get into Sunday into Monday, watch for some showers and storms spanning from the Northeast into the Southern Plains. By Tuesday into Wednesday, Halloween looks to be fairly dry overall, not really looking at anything too major. This would be the area in question for maybe maybe some showers, and also maybe even a little bit of snow as we go into Halloween day. So if you're anywhere in those areas, keep a close eye on your weather there. Otherwise, the Great Plains will likely dry out. In terms of rainfall for the next several days, the key is at the bottom of your screen. This area in particular, really today and tomorrow, will see the most rainfall. Upwards of four to five inches of rain is possible in a few locations. In terms of total snowfall, the most snowfall will fall back up in parts in the northern plains. Again, we could see one to two feet of snow in North Dakota over the next 48 hours. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.